Well, the galaxies are just waiting to be explored, but the price of a good telescope, well, it can be astronomical. But in Guelph, Ontario, a small initiative is hoping to remove costly barrier to stargazing. It is called 10 Telescopes, and the idea is simple. Free community access to 3D printed telescopes, 10 of them for now, as the name suggests. Brian Michelle is the founder of 10 Telescopes. He is joining us, I think, with one of them beside him. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Emory. So where did this idea come from? It's a good one. Well, it started uh, with my niece, actually. She was about 12 years old, and she said, Uncle Brian, how can I get a telescope? And I loved astronomy, but I also loved 3D printing. So I decided I'll design one for her and build it. And is this a picture of her that we're showing right now? This is her helping with the building? That's right. And how did she enjoy it when she finally got her telescope? Well, uh, I think she really enjoyed building it. And I know that she's dragged her sisters out a couple times <laughs> to look at the planets and the moon at uh, strange hours of the night. So I, I think they all appreciate it. I love the colors and the design that you put into these two, Brian. Uh, you design and print the Thank telescopes, you. and then you've got volunteers who help put them together. How has the process evolved the, since you started doing this? Well, it, it did just start with just my niece, and then the telescope worked quite well, so I thought maybe other people would like to have access to these scopes. And uh, really, it, that design has evolved a little bit, but it's pretty much still the same scope that I designed for her. Brian, I, I can't say enough how much fun these telescopes look and how you've created them with so much color and design. And, you know, it really, like, look at this. I think it's just, I think it's phenomenal. And it also makes this part of science so accessible. 10 Telescopes website site features a step-by-step -step guide for 3D printing your own telescope. So what kind of resources and know-how does somebody have to have to build one of these? Well, um, you do need a 3D printer and... If you're going to print with the same plastic that we use, ABS plastic, it needs to be a pretty good 3D printer. Um, but really, you can just download the plans from the uh, website and you can print it. Uh, the, the size of the printer is also, this telescope is not that small, so you would need a telescope of 285 by 285 millimeters bed size. But if you have that, uh, you, could, you could print one yourself. How long does it take from start to finish? To print it, it takes a little over a week. Uh, 3D printers, especially the, the type that uh, you would have in your home, are not that fast. So it, it does take over a week to print it. And then you'd need about 12 to 15 hours to build it and get it aligned, what we say collimated uh, in the telescope world, where all your optics are aligned and well calibrated. Brian, the other part of the story that I love is that you hold these community. This is really for the community and to make this accessible for people. And you held your first community stargazing event earlier this month, and you converted a shed in your backyard into an astronomy library. And you've also shipped a telescope to this guy in, in Germany, uh, Carl, a family friend who visited last year, and he was fascinated by your telescopes. Talk to me about how rewarding it feels to share your love of astronomy with your community and beyond. Well, I was very fortunate um, to have a telescope when I was about 12 years old. And it was not a great telescope, but I got to see the moon and Jupiter, and it was just incredible. And I, when I think about how other children could have a similar experience, that's really, that's really the drive behind it. Uh, we're not trying to make scientific instruments. We're just trying to get uh, amateurs and children engaged with the sky. And, and that does feel uh, very good to, to be able to put those into their hands like that. Yeah, what kind of feedback have you had? Well, we're just really in the very early stages of the 10 Telescopes project. We have seven out of our 10 telescopes for the library. And going out and, um, and offering them to people, like for example, yesterday, a high school teacher locally here in Guelph picked up three telescopes to take for his earth and sciences class, and he was very excited. Um, and every time children look through these and look at the moon and, and see Jupiter and its moons, they're very excited. And yes, we're getting, we're getting quite some feedback that, uh, that people are excited about having similar experiences. You know, talking to Jeremy Hansen, he, uh, you know, who is now gonna be taking a trip around the moon, was telling me that he first started looking at the moon and that's when he started dreaming. So who knows what you're unleashing and unlocking in young Canadians. Brian, thanks so much. 
Thank you. If you're in the Guelph area, by the way, or up for a drive, and you're interested in loaning out one of those telescopes, or you just want some more information, you can go to 10telescopes.com. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.